Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi and good evening everyone. Are you able to hear my voice? Okay, uh, yeah, all right. Okay. Okay, so tonight we do revision for transistor. Are you ready? Yes, have you read about transistor? All right, uh, so the one that you see on screen is actually um, the new textbook. So this is actually fresh, uh, macam goreng pisang. Goreng pisang panas. So this one is actually KSSM form 5, a uh, new textbook. Okay, so this is uh, in chapter 5, but ours um, KBSM is chapter 4, right? Okay, it's okay. So we look at this. Okay, to understand transistor, actually you need to understand about um, diode semiconductor. Okay, diode semiconductor because transistor... Um, is made from p-type and n-type semiconductor, okay, that is joined together, okay, like this. Uh. Wait, uh, this is the symbol for a transistor, okay, so this is a symbol of a transistor, and then this is transistor uh, physically that you see uh, in the, let's say, motherboard or maybe any electric circuit, uh. okay. Now, so there are two types of transistor. So we have, this is what we call as NPN transistor. And then this is a PNP transistor. So this is the structure of a transistor. And then this is the symbol of a transistor. Okay. If the question asks you to draw the symbol of a transistor, you need to draw this. Okay. And this. So there are two types of transistor. So we have NPN transistor and also PNP transistor. Now look at the symbol and then look at the structure. Okay, uh, actually the middle, if you, for the structure of a transistor, the middle part should be thin, okay, nipis uh, compared to the, um, the uh, this part and this part. Okay, yang tengah-tengah should be lebih nipis. Okay, so we call that as base. Okay, same goes to this one. Okay, yang tengah sepatutnya lebih nipis. Macam sandwich, alright? Okay, atas macam roti lah, tengah macam inti, okay? Now, so, um, okay, so a transistor consists of three electrode, or we call it as three terminal, okay? Which is base, collector, and also emitter. Okay, emitter, base, collector, E, B, C. Decide also the same thing. E, B, C. Alright, now, uh, the difference between NPN and PNP transistor, okay, for the symbol, uh, it will be the arrow here. So, both have arrow in between base and also emitter. Here also the same thing, uh, between base and emitter. Okay, we use arrow to differentiate between NPN and PNP transistor. So, the arrow actually represents uh, the direction of current flowing through the transistor. Okay, so from here, okay, current actually flowing from, if let's say using the terminal battery, right, it will be from positive to the negative terminal. So here we can assume this is P, okay, P, and here will be N, right, um, positive to negative. Uh, here, if the arrow is like that, means here is P. Uh, this is N. So, with that, you know, this will be N, P, N transistor. And then like this will be P, N, P transistor. Okay. So, number one, you must know how to differentiate uh, the symbol of a transistor. Okay. Next. What is the use of a transistor? Anybody? That would be a favorite question also. 
What is the use of a transistor? What is the function of a transistor? Yeah, you can type your answer. Uh, normally we use small letter, okay? But if you write capital letter, also no no problem. Okay, I'm answering Jason's question. Uh, do we write NPN in capital or lowercase? Both can, okay? But normally we use small small letter. All right, yes. A transistor is used um, as uh, to amplify current, okay? As current amplifier, okay? Uh? Yes, that is number one. Number two, automatic switch. Yes, automatic switch. So normally, if the question asks you what is the function of a transistor, so remember these two. Number one, as current amplifier. Number two, as automatic switch. Okay? Very important, uh? ingat. Uh? Alright, now we look at the circuit of a transistor. So, can see this, right? Alright. Now, so a transistor, as I told you just now, um, consists of three terminal. Okay, so here this will be the emitter. This is the base. And then here will be the collector terminal. Same goes to this side. So, this is C, B, and then E emitter. And a transistor also will have two circuit. Okay, so the circuit will be the base and collector circuit. So this side is known as the base circuit. Okay, base circuit. And then this side will be known as the collector circuit. Alright, now... With the arrow inside, actually, the arrow can help you to uh, determine the direction of current, right? Okay, so means that here, since the arrow is pointing downward, so just follow that. Okay, so it means that the current flow from here, if this uh, switch on, uh, like that. Okay, so the flow of current will be like this. And then this side, okay, can see like that, right? To ruin, so means that like that. Okay. So, if like that means that here is P, can okay? P just now, here is N. So, this side must be connected to the negative terminal. Okay, if you see N here, so it means that here must be connected to the negative terminal. And then, the other side must be positive. Lah. And then, you just copy this, paste here few times. Okay, because the collector circuit must have more uh, battery. Okay, ingat lah. Like this, so we know that this is um, arrow like that, so it means that here is P type, and then here is N type, this is P type, okay? So P type must be connected to positive terminal, okay? You can see? And then here, uh, one battery lah, huh? and you copy this and then paste here a few times, alright? So if here is positive, here also should be positive. Boleh, huh? Alright. Uh, this is the new book. Normally, we draw battery here at this side. Uh, like this. Okay. Like this, kan? So, this is an uh, arrow like that. Means this is P type. Here is N type. So, this is N, P, N transistor. So, N, this side, must be connected to negative terminal. Okay. Okay, so one battery enough and then you copy this paste few times here so here should have more battery all right clear all right so now you know that a transistor consists of three terminal emitter base collector and it have two circuit base circuit collector circuit and then you also know that uh, a transistor can amplify current it can be used as automatic switch Okay, now, so here, this one is what we call as the base current, uh, this part. Since this is base circuit, so it means that the current that flow here is known as IB, base current. And then here is the collector circuit, so it means that here will be IC, collector current. Okay, 
So base current, collect the current. But at this side, this is where uh, base current and collector current join. Okay, so this is what we call as emitter current. Okay, so it means that this emitter current is actually the combination between base current and also collector current. So that's why we have this equation. Uh, this is also important. They might ask you, uh, state the relationship between uh, base current, collector current and emitter current. Okay, If they ask you to state the relationship, you can write formula like this. Okay, So far, can follow? Any questions so far? No problem? Okay, no problem. Huh? Alright, now. So, um, now you know that the function of a transistor is to amplify current. So, it means that it increase the um, it increase, it double, triple or more the uh, small current. So the small current is actually the IB here. Okay, so a transistor can amplify this IB. Okay, and then it becomes, uh, uh, um, the, the one they already amplified, okay, will be, will be the IC. Lah. Okay, so it means that this IC will be uh, bigger compared to IB. Okay, if you want to measure IB, okay, let's say you can place here a meter and then here is another meter. Okay, these two meter must be different sensitivity. So the one that placed in the, call, uh, the base circuit must be more sensitive. Okay, so if here is a micro emitter, alright, so here can be the milli emitter. Okay, make sure they have different sensitivity because the uh, base current is very small. Okay, and then the collector current will be bigger compared to base current. Okay, so in this case, if you have one micro em emitter here, uh, one micro ampere here, and then produce one milli ampere, how much is the base current amplified? If let's say from one micro ampere. IB and then amplified by the transistor then IC let's say equal to 1 milli ampere how much is IC now bigger to IB hmm. can you calculate how to calculate that How much is IC bigger to IB, bigger compared to IB? If let's say IB is 1, ampere, one micro ampere and IC is 1 milli ampere. So you need to divide them, right? Okay, so means that the multiplication, uh, the amplifier factor, alright, it will be IC divided by IB. Okay, so IC is 1 milli ampere. So 1 milli means 10 negative 3 ampere. Divide by micro. Okay, IB micro, right? So 10 negative 6. Tekan calculator. What you get? Yes, 1000. So it means that now, in this case, the... Amplification factor is already 1000. Okay, so ola ola, if let's say you have a magic tabong, so you must sort one ringgit here, RM one ringgit here, and then here you become 1000 ringgit. A lot, right? One ringgit compared to 1000 ringgit. How I wish I have that tabong. Okay, continue. Alright, now, so now you know that uh, the, the function, uh, I keep on repeating uh, what is the function of a transistor, right? So the function of a transistor is as current amplifier. The second one is as automatic switch. Okay, next one. Okay, in this circuit, you see there is a resistor here. 
okay this is wajib uh, you must have a small uh, uh, you have you must have a resistor here so this resistor is actually used to limit uh, this r1 okay the function is used to limit base current ib uh, this is also a favorite question okay state the function of r1 okay so the answer is to limit ib means that limit base current when you answer a transistor question you need to be very specific because we have three current here so we have um, emitter current we have base current we have collector current if you answer r1 okay is used to limit current that will be wrong why because which current okay means that your answer is not specific enough okay so the function of r1 is to limit base current Okay, ingat na, base current. Alright, next. Okay, so here, um, when we have small IB, small base current, okay, so the collector current will be normally bigger. Okay, just like just now, if you, if you katakan na, you have 1 microampere base current, the collector current may be 1 milliampere. So, means that small changes in IB will create uh, bigger changes in IC. Alright? And then, if IB is zero, confirm IC will be zero. Uh, that one must be ingat. Okay? So, it means that here, in this case, um, when IB is zero, okay? So, confirm IC will be zero. In this case, we call this uh, um, condition as transistor is switched off. Okay, when IB is not zero, okay, normally IC will be more than zero. So in this case, we say the transistor is switched on. Okay, ingat na? When IB is zero, confirm uh, IC is zero. In this case, the transistor is switched off. But when you have value in IB, okay, so, there will be big value in IC. So, this is what we call as transistor is switched on. Okay. Next one. Okay. So, we have this circuit, remember. Okay, then we have another circuit here. So, what is the difference between this circuit and the new circuit here? Do you realize that we only have one side battery? Here, don't have. Okay, but we have another wire joining this part. Okay, now where does the uh, call, uh, base circuit uh, get the, the, the current? Okay, so actually the base circuit um, get the current actually from here also. Okay, now check Gulu Kisamula to give you the idea. Alright, so you have learned this in chapter uh, chapter 2 eh? let's say we have um, battery like this I put dot 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 here means it more than two battery okay so one resistor then we have another resistor here the road line handwriting check go okay like that it should be straight line, huh? Okay. Uh, tak semestinya straight line because this is wire. Okay, so let's say here is R1 and then here R2. Let's say the voltage here is 10 volt. Okay, so current flow from positive terminal to the negative terminal like that. Okay. Now, uh, if let's say we measure this, Use a voltmeter to measure the voltage. So V1. And then here is another voltmeter to measure the voltage. Okay, V2. If let's say V1 is equal to uh, 4 volt, what will be V2? If V1 is 4 volt, V2? What is V2?
Okay. Yeah. If let's say V1 is 4, so V2 will be 10 minus 4. Okay, here will be 6 volt. Okay. Alright, now. If let's say V1 is 3, so V2 will be 7. So it means that the total voltage V1 plus V2, V1 plus V2 will be always equal to the total voltage. Okay, because the resistor... R1 and R2 now is in series circuit. Okay, so current will be constant. So the current that flow through R1, R2 will be the same. And then um, the voltage will depend on the resistance. Okay, ingat na? In this case, the voltage uh, across the resistor will depend on the resistor. Na? Okay. Alright, now. If, let's say, cikgu sambung this part. To a transistor. Let's say like that. Okay, the resistor, the, the resistor, a transistor, right. So, uh, the transistor that I draw now, um, this is what type of transistor? Arrow downward. What type of transistor is this? Is it PNP or NPN transistor? What do you think? Okay, so arrow downward. So remember this is the base. And then here is the emitter terminal. And then this is the collector terminal. So arrow downward. So means that this should be P. This is N. Okay, so means that this is NPN transistor. If I connect like this, and this is the battery, uh, is the connection of my battery is correct or not? Will the circuit work if I connect like that? Betul kah sambungan cikgu? To the battery. Is it correct? Betul lah, right? Okay. Because why? Okay. If you want, if you want to know whether your circuit work or not, you look at your transistor and you look at the battery. Okay. You see here, this is NPN transistor. So the N part, like this, huh? So this can here is N. Huh? So this must be connected to the negative terminal. Ah, uh, this is important. Okay, sometimes the essay question sometimes uh, ask you to draw a circuit. Uh, so make sure you know. And here must be connected to the negative terminal. Okay. Now, so when I already co connected a transistor in the middle here, do you see that now? So here still have voltage. Uh, this, okay, this is... Kejap lah. Uh, here, just now can our drawing is like this. Got battery here, so the voltage will be here. And then, if you connect like this, so here still have voltage. Okay? Alright. Ingat lah. Now, so this is the base circuit. So the voltage here, so this voltage. Alright, so this is what we call as VB, base voltage. Okay, this part. Nah. Since this is base circuit, so the voltage here is known as base voltage. Alright, now, so here, which one will be the base voltage if referred to V1 and V2? Where is the base voltage? Base voltage. Cikgu ajar pelahan nah, so that you can grab the idea. So, where is the base voltage? Is it V1 or is it V2? Alright, yeah. V2 is the base voltage. Okay, now. 
So here, base voltage. Alright. So this means that the V2 now is base voltage. Now, to know where is the base voltage, so you must look at where is the base emitter junction. Okay, this is the base emitter junction, right? So here will be base voltage. Okay, so I just label this as VB. Okay, VB. Alright. Now, uh, you see, since we don't have battery here, okay, so whether there will be base current or not, it depends on what is the value of the base voltage. Okay. Here is where you need to really careful. Huh? So, in order for collector current to exist, the transistor must be switched on. Okay, and for a transistor to switch on, IB must be more than zero. Okay, in order to have bigger IB, VB must be bigger compared to V above here. Okay, so you can write like this. Okay, so when VB when V be bigger than V, I put here as V1. Okay, because V1 is this voltage. Huh? This is the base voltage. Okay, when V be base voltage bigger than V1, I be base, base current will be more than zero. If base current more than zero, so we say that the transistor is... Transistor is switch, switch what? Switch on, eh? yeah, transistor is switch on. So if the transistor is switch on, means that there will be collector current and the value of the collector current will be much bigger compared to IB just now. So in this case, uh, any device that you put in the, the collector circuit, that will be on. Okay, boleh? Can follow? So remember, if you want to have collector current, the transistor must be switched on. To switch on the transistor, the base current must be more than zero. And to have base current more than zero, the voltage here, okay, at the base voltage uh, must be more than the voltage above here. Boleh? If you can understand this, it will be quite easy for me to explain about transistor acting as automatic switch. Okay, get this first. Alright, semua boleh? Can? Form 4, form 4, next year we talk about that. <laughs> form 4, tunggu eh, because now cikgu nak focus with form 5 student. Okay. Thank you, Sharifa. Okay, uh, after after form five exam, then we will. But but I don't do tuition. Okay, cikgu akan buat life like this lah. Okay, I'm trying to help you all. Um, free. Okay, uh, no need to pay. Boleh, all right. Okay, we continue. Now, um, when we say transistor acting as automatic switch. Okay. So, it means that it can switch on by itself and it can switch off by itself without you have to switch on by using your finger. means that when the condition need to switch off, it switch off. When the condition need to switch on, it switch on by itself. Uh, that is what we call as automatic switch. Okay, No need to uh, tekan the switch. All right? Now, see here. Uh, Oh, kejap, cikgu lupa. So, these two resistor that you can connect here, R1, R2 here, is known as potential divider. Okay, so we call this as potential divider. R1, R2 acting as potential divider. Pembahagi voltage, alright? Potential divider. And then another important uh, thing that you need to know also, 
in this circuit okay this circuit is not um perfect uh, because missing something uh, need to have this mesti ada this resistor what is the use of this resistor what is the use of this resistor to Just, we just discussed just now. What is the use of this resistor? It must be located here. Anybody? Salah tak apa. You cannot try, try answer. Yeah, to limit base current. Okay, ingat na. So, uh, selalunya transistor, if it come out in structure question, so number one, they will ask you will be, yang biasa lah, soalan yang biasa will be, number one, uh, name the type of transistor or, or maybe name the device uh, shown in the diagram okay so if like this you know this is a npn transistor number two they will ask you what is the function of that device okay so the answer will be either you write amplify current or as automatic switch number three they will ask you this what is the use of this resistor Okay, ingat na, to limit base current. And then number four, they can ask you also, uh, the relationship between IB, IC, IE. Okay, so ingat na, IB will be here, this is IB, and then here will be IE, emitter current, and then here will be the collector current, IC. So ingat the relationship will be IE sama dengan IB plus IC. Okay. And then they can also ask you what is the use of this R1 and R2 potential divider. Okay, next we move on. Okay, now look at this. Okay, in this circuit, there are, there are two circuits here. So, semuanya sama except for the position of the uh, resistor. We have two resistor here. One is a fixed resistor. The other one is variable resistor. Perintang boleh ubah. Uh, this one. Uh, perintang, in this case, this is LDR, means that light dependent resistor. So, it means that this resistor, the resistance will vary, depends on uh, the brightness. Kejap lah, Ruben. Teacher, where does the emitter current flow to? Where does the emitter current flow to? So, the emitter current, in this case, it's split into two. This part. Katakanlah, I'm following this diagram. So, here is the IB kan? IB. And then, IC will be like this. IC. Here also IC. And then, this part. Okay. I see like that. This is I see. I B will be like this. So do you see that this part? So this and this is here. So that is your I E. So it means that I E go here and then it split into two again. Where I E, see I E, sama dengan I B plus I C. Okay, because only this part is IE. Okay, keluar dari simpang, pecah semula, become IB and IC. Okay, boleh lah, Ruben? Boleh lah, alright now. So, in this circuit, you can see that um, there are two resistor. One is the fixed resistor, the other one is the uh, resistor that the resistance varies depends on the brightness of the surrounding okay so ingat this one now um, okay so the LDR light dependent resistor in this case is here but the fixed resistor are at the base circuit okay and then this is the LDR now, it is located at the base circuit. So, must remember that here is always VB. Means that here also VB. 
Okay. In order for this bulb to light up, IC must be more than zero. In order for this IC to be more than zero, the transistor must be on. Cikgu letak T, transistor on. Okay. In order for this transistor to on, so means that IB must be more than zero. And if you want IB to be more than zero, this VB mestilah lebih besar compared to V above here. So here, katakan cikgu letak V only lah. So this VB mesti lebih besar compared to this V. Same goes to this side also. Okay, sama. If you want the bulb to light up, so IC must be more than zero. Means that the transistor must be on. Okay, it means that IB must be more than zero. Means that this VB also must be more than V above here. Okay, now, um, as you know just now kan, cikgu start dengan drawing the series circuit just now, right? So current flow like this, right? Like that, right? So it means that the current here will be the same. So current flowing through the LDR and current flowing through the fixed resistor 5 kilo ohm will be the same. So it means that the value of VB and this V depends on the resistance of the resistor. Okay, now, so the resistance of the fixed resistor will be always fixed, okay? It will not change. Uh, this one tetap sama. But this LDR, the resistance will keep on changing. Okay, depends on the brightness, okay? So you must know the key, uh, mesti ingat kunci. Um, how does the resistance of the LDR react to light? Cikgu uh, lukis here. When it is bright, what happened to the resistance of the LDR if it is bright? Okay, resistance of LDR. If it is bright, bright, cikgu lukis matahari. Malam will be dark. Okay, if it is bright, the resistance of the LDR will drop, decrease. If it is dark, the resistance of the LDR will increase. Uh, this one is the key that you must remember. Um, ingatlah, ada somebody, my student said, uh, macam main judi, cikgu, malam kaya, banyak duit. Siang terus miskin. So, jangan main judi. <laughs> Boleh ya? Can uh? So, when it is um, uh, dark, uh, dark, the resistance of the LDR increase. And then, if it is bright, the resistance of the LDR drop abruptly. So, olah-olah macam, if night time, the resistance can be up to 1 mega ohm. And then, siang, only about 200 ohm. 1 mega means 1 million Means at night time, the resistance of the LDR increase up to 1 million ohm. And then, siang, it drop to 200 ohm. Okay? Alright, so if you already memorize this, then this one will be okay. Okay, look at this. When will the resistance of the LDR increase? When it is, when will the resistance of the LDR increase? For this part, huh? so resistance of the LDR increase when it is night car, daytime, bright or dark. Uh, when it is dark. So, cikgu guna symbol lah. I'm using bulan. Okay. So, when it is dark, okay, malam lah, dark. So, the resistance of the LDR increase. Now, look at the LDR. 
Okay, the LDR now is located at the base circuit. So it means that the voltage across the LDR is the base voltage. Okay, so I can put VB increase or decrease? Increase. Okay, so about this VB depends on the resistance of the resistor. So when it is dark, the resistance of the LDR increase, so it means that VB increase. If VB increase, so what happened to IB? It will be more than zero. If IB more than zero means that the transistor is on. If the transistor is on means that IC will be huge, will be more than zero. Like that, okay? So, means that the bulb will light up. Clear or not? Will you have? For this case. So, it means that for this circuit, whenever it is dark, so the bulb will light up. And let's say um, daytime, bright. Okay. So, cikgu tak perlu tulis lah. I just explain lah. If it is daytime, Okay, bright. Nah? So, the resistance of the LDR will drop. So, VB will be decrease. If VB decrease, IB will equal zero. If IB equals zero, the transistor will be off. And what happened to the IC? There will be no IC. Because IB already zero, right? So, there will be no IC. And the bulb will not light up. So, it means that this circuit, the bulb will only switch on if it is dark. If it is bright, the bulb will be off. Okay, so this is the perfect bulb, that, the perfect circuit that you can use in your house. Okay, boleh faham? Boleh, ha? Now, uh, the key here... This part, huh? this one. You must remember this, okay? Uh, no matter where you place your LDR, so the way the resistance of the LDR react with the brightness will be the same. It means that whether you put your LDR on top or at the base circuit, so the reaction will be the same. If it is bright, bright, huh? bright so the resistance of the LDR drop. If let's say it is dark, the resistance of the LDR will increase. Okay. Boleh? Ada yang dah confused? So, please respond. If katakan confused, cikgu ulang semula. Okay. If let's say okay, then cikgu boleh continue. Semua boleh? Alright, now we look at the other circuit. Huh? Uh, here, this part. So now you see the LDR is located not at the base circuit. Okay, so it means that the value of this base voltage, okay, it depends on the resistance of the LDR up here. Okay, now it is... If it is night, okay, night, dark, malam, I draw moon now, like that. What happened to the resistance of the LDR? If it is dark, the resistance of the LDR, no matter where you place your LDR, the resistance will always increase when it is dark. Okay, ingat na? Sama ada atas atau bawah, sama. So, the resistance of the LDR will increase if it is dark. But now, you see, the position of the LDR is up here. So, if let's say the resistance of the LDR increase, so it means that this V will increase. If this V increase, okay, so the base voltage will decrease okay in this case okay because we need to focus on vb we don't focus on this part nah? but if your ldr already located here no choice you need to know what happened to this part voltage 
okay and if here the voltage increase so here will decrease because why still remember this and check good explain our wall just now here uh, can the total voltage okay total voltage is the same as v1 plus v2 since now your ldr is located here okay so um, anything happen to the brightness okay so the value for the resistance of the ldr will change hence v1 will change also if v1 is bigger so v2 which is vb will be smaller boleh ha okay get that first okay all right now since now you see um night time dark the resistance of the ldr increase and you see your ldr is up here so means that this v increase so your vb will vb drop if vb drop what happened to ib ib equal zero sebab vb drop kan the syarat just now vb mesti lebih besar okay so if let's say vb sama dengan uh, vb drop so means that ib equal zero so means that the transistor will be off if transistor of IC confirm equal zero and the bulb will not light up. So means that here, this circuit, if night time, the bulb off. If daytime for this circuit, the bulb will on. Okay, so far boleh? So um, when you explain about transistor, you must focus on this part. Okay, and we name uh, the voltage here as base voltage. Okay, voltan tapak. Okay, voltan tapak. Mesti ingat lah. Okay, so far, ada soalan? Boleh ha? Okay. Alright, so next one will be... A transistor as automatic switch controlled by heat. Ah, by heat. Good job. Okay. Now here yeah, this part. Okay, can you can you explain okay now? Okay, uh, what happened to the this is bulb? Huh? What happened to this bulb if surrounding is hot? What happened to the bulb if the surrounding is hot? So this is a thermistor. Thermistor, another name for thermistor will be HDR, heat dependent resistor. HDR. Just now we look at LDR, light dependent resistor. Now it's heat dependent resistor. In order to know whether the bulb will be on or not, okay, you must know how does this thermistor react when the surrounding temperature changes. Uh, that one kunci, mesti ingat the key. Huh. So, if katakan surrounding is hot, so what happened to the resistance of the thermistor? If the surrounding is hot, what happened to the resistance of the thermistor? That will be the key that you need to memorize first. Macam just now, we know that for um, a trans, uh, uh, an LDR, if it is bright, the resistance drop. If it is dark, the resistance increase. That is for the um, LDR. What about HDR? Uh, okay, so cara ingat sama. Okay, just do, put here. Resistance of the 
HDR. HDR nama lainnya thermistor. Okay. So, which one lebih panas? Okay, matahari lebih panas. So, it means that the resistance of the HDR drop bila panas. Reaksinya sama. If it is cool, so the resistance of the HDR increase. So, you can use this diagram for you to memorize. Okay, for you to memorize, how does the resistance of the uh, sensor, this is actually sensor lah, huh? this is light sensor, this is heat sensor. Alright, so if it is hot, matahari means hot lah huh? here. Hot, the resistance of HDR drop. If it is cold, so the resistance of the HDR increase. Okay, now, okay, look at this. Ah. So anybody want to explain? Can you type what happened? Okay, let's say we let's say there is fire, ada kebakaran. Got kebakaran. Okay. Then what happened? So can you type your answer? Explain what happened to the bulb, okay? If there is fire. Kalau ada kebakaran, start from the thermistor. Start from the resistance of the thermistor. And then finally, okay, uh, what happened to this bulb? Will it light up or switch off? You start your answer by when there is fire, when it is hot, the resistance of the HDR uh, continue. Cuba tulis jawapan. You write your complete answer so that I can comment. Okay, I'm waiting for some more. Okay, I can see that Chen and Vincent already have answers there. Okay, now everybody can read uh, Chen, Vincent and also Zeng Yang, Chua also. Anik pun ada jawapan. Okay, so uh, read the answer and then if let's say your answer is different from what already um, post by your friend, you can type in your answer. If they are the same, no need lah. Kalau tak sama, then you type in your answer. Then we choose. Macam sama. Temperature high, resistant to Mr. Drop, base voltage increase, base current increase, transistor on, collector current increase, bulb on. When there is a fire, the resistance of the Mr. decreases, causing the bulb to still light up. Resistant thermistor decrease, base voltage increase, base current higher than zero, result great increase in collector current, hence current flow through light bulb and bulb light up. So far, semua jawapan tepat. Cikgu baca jawapan Anik. Heat increase, HDR resistant decrease V1. Where is V1? V1 decrease, V base increase, base current increase, base current more than zero, bulb light up. Collector current need to mention also, eh, Anik. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so far boleh tahan you all. Dah betul dah. Alright. Chen, temperature high, thermistor low, resistant. Base voltage high, transistor on, base current high, collector current, very high collector current. Because no comma, Chen, so cikgu pun baca macam, uh, alright. Okay, so far, no problem. So now, I see. So when, the, when there is fire, so means that the temperature increase. Okay, temperature increase, I write here. 
temperature uh, temperature increase means that heat lah panas lah temperature increase means that hot lah ha? ataupun you can also write hot Alright, so the resistance, okay, this must be specific. Huh? You don't just write resistance decrease. You need to write resistance of the HDR. Okay, mesti tulis resistance of the HDR or resistance of the thermistor drop or decrease. Okay, mesti ada this perkataan. Huh? Wajib. Huh? Okay, so when the temperature increase or hot, so the resistance of the HDR drop, so it means that the voltage here, drop but the hdr now is not at the base voltage so you no need to talk about the voltage here just quickly write about this side because here will be the vb it's not wrong if you also continue katakan you just write a v across hdr uh, drop now uh, this one boleh boleh ditulis but not no need lah okay cikgu takut you all uh, forgot to write HDR. If you forgot to put HDR here, it might be contradict with this. Okay? So, senang kata, no need to write this. We focus on VB. So, when the resistance of the HDR drop, VB increase. Okay? VB increase. So, IB is more than zero. So, transistor switch on. Uh, IC will be huge, more than zero, and then the bulb will on. Okay? Boleh ah? So, means that for this circuit, for this circuit, if there, there is fire, katakan ada kebakaran, so the bulb will light up. Okay? Ataupun you need to have a, a speaker here. Okay, perlu ada speaker ataupun alarm system here. Okay, so that when uh, got fire, so uh, I see ada I see, it means that the alarm will be on. Okay, what happen if let's say you put HDR down here? Ha, katakan buat terbalik HDR di bawah. So what happen is the it will be false alarm. Uh, soalan SPM pun suka. They give you a diagram yang salah. And ask you to modify. Uh, this will more likely to come out in your section C or section B paper 2. Uh. Katakan, okay, we have this diagram. Let's say you have a resistor here. And then they put the mister down here. This is a favorite question. Uh. Symbol mesti ingat. Uh. That is a symbol for a thermistor. Okay, tengah-tengah here you have ingat ada satu resistor and then here will be your transistor. Okay, sambung. So, normally here mungkin speaker and then here will be your battery. Alright, now, so katakan the arrow is like that. If I draw like this, betul ke salah? Look at the circuit first. Katakan ah, the question ah, asking you to modify this circuit so that uh, the the alarm system will be on when there is fire. So, what modification should you make? Ah, the circuit memang dah salah. Okay, so what modification should you make? Number one. Modification number one. Okay, obvious, memang ada salah, memang ada kesalahan. Okay, number one, good Stephanie, yes, reverse the terminal. Why reverse terminal? Why you need to reverse the terminal? 
Oh, jual kata guna NPN transistor. Oh, boleh juga. Can also. So, alright. Okay, but let's say um, in this case, the transistor already given like that. So, you cannot replace the transistor, but you can re you can interchange the connection of the battery. Okay, so uh, if you have question like this, uh, um, uh, no need to change, uh, uh, don't change the type of transistor because these are the apparatus that are given to you. Okay, so means that you are already given a, a N, this is P, right? This is N, okay, so P and P. So you are already given uh, a P and P transistor, so you don't change the transistor, but you what you can do would be to change the terminal, okay? So the emitter must be connected to the negative terminal. Ingat na? And then the collector, okay, this part na, okay, must be connected to the positive terminal. Or you just draw the diagram. Terbalikkan the, 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 the battery. Okay. Now, what is the use? Why do you need to interchange this part? Apa reasonnya? What is the reason of doing this? Okay, why the connection must be like that? Okay, jawapan na, ingat na. This is to make sure that the base, base emitter circuit is in forward, forward bias. Uh, forward bias. Okay, so this is to make sure that the base circuit is in forward bias ataupun base emitter junction is in forward bias okay uh, that is the use of um, changing the terminal here okay that is uh, modification number one modification number two Or maybe they don't put the uh, the speaker here. Let's say they put above. Katakana, the question. Uh, so you need to modify the circuit so that um, the so that a device here, okay, can alert, can warn people that there is fire. Okay, so modification number two here lah, huh? this bulb must be changed to an alarm system. Okay, so that ada bunyi, eh? okay, got sound to warn people about the, the, the danger lah, the fire. And then the third modification. Third modification. Okay, use speaker, betul. Now, the third modification. Termister position, betul. Alright, so the termister must be interchange with the, you use the word interchange, huh? the saling tukar. So, it means that the termister must be located at this part. Okay, so you use the word interchange, uh, macam yang... Vincent to list uh, interchange the position of the resistor and the mister. Uh, that keyword, uh, the interchange. Maksudnya saling tukar. So means that this one move up and then this move down. Alright. Boleh? Okay, last part will be this. So, this one is um, transistor still under a current amplifier where a transistor circuit is used in the PA system. Okay, yang ada microphone, uh, microphone dengan uh, loudspeaker. 
Okay, so you talk through which one? You talk through the microphone or through the speaker? Okay, of course you talk through a microphone and you don't talk through the speaker. Um, okay, so you talk through the microphone. So what happens is the sound wave will be changed to electric signal by the microphone. So that is the use of the microphone. Okay, so microphone change or convert sound wave into electrical signal. Okay, so that electrical signal, okay, will be sent to this part, okay, so it will become the base current, small base current. And that small base current will be amplified by using a transistor and it come out here as collector current with the same signal as the sound just now. Okay, so we have, uh, you talk through the microphone, so sound change to electrical signal, that electrical signal is in alternating shape, alternating current, it go to the uh, base circuit and will be amplified okay, by the transistor, so it becomes the collector current. Okay? Same signal but bigger amplitude. Katakan, uh, the one that here, let's say the signal, let's say like this, although how, how to draw, huh? And then here, okay, it will have the same shape but bigger amplitude or how to draw. Uh, lebih kurang lah, like that. So you see that the amplitude is bigger. And this bigger amplitude current, okay, will be convert back to the sound by the loudspeaker. So it means that this loudspeaker and the microphone, um, the function will be opposite. So microphone, sound to electric. Speaker will be electric to sound energy. Okay. Now, what is the use of this part? This is a capacitor. So, capacitor only allow alternating current to pass through it. It will block direct current. Okay. So, it block direct current. So, in this case, the function of this um, capacitor is to block uh, direct current that come from the battery here. Okay, it will block it. Faham? Huh? Alright, so I think we already finished the theory lah, the theory part. Oh, the calculation. Tunggu, tunggu. One more. Okay, for the calculation, okay, we look at this. So now, uh, you know that uh, VT, eh? Okay, Vt sama dengan V1 plus V2. Okay. And if let's say we use ratio. Katakan ratio. Eh? Hmm. So means that now here R1. Katakan okay, V1 sama dengan I R1. Uh, that one boleh faham kan? This is I current here. And then this V1 sama dengan Ohm's law formula kan. So V1 sama dengan I times R1. Like this. And then V total will be equal to I times the total resistance. Okay, so we say R1. They are connected in series. So R1 plus R2. Okay, so this is let's say formula number 1. This is formula number 2. Okay, if I divide number 1 to number 2, so it become V1 bahagi V total sama dengan, okay, I, I here I can cancel. So, it left with R1 over R1 plus R2, which means the R total. So, remember this formula. Okay, same goes, let's say you want to determine uh, here. This one will be R2 bahagi R1 plus R2 sama dengan V2 over RT. I think that will be the formula lah for you to solve. But normally here, the resistance will be in kilo ohm. Okay, so if they put kilo, okay, don't forget lah. If atas ada kilo, bawah ada kilo, you can cancel the kilo lah. Okay. If katakan atas they put kilo and then tiba-tiba bawah mega ke, okay, uh, you need to be careful lah with that. Okay. 
Okay, make sure you change the prefixes lah if they are not using the same prefixes. Okay, so, so far ada soalan before we look at the question. Maybe we discuss a few questions. Okay, look at this. This is SBP 2019. Okay, question number 6 means that this is the structure question. Huh? Have you tried? Okay, so we have two diagrams. Diagram 1 and diagram 2 shows two identical circuit of a transistor as automatic switch in dark and bright respectively so means that yes Theo what, what is it what will happen if we don't don't what okay uh, you can PM me tak apa Alright, no? so see here. So, this is the two identical circuit, right? Uh, down here. So, this one is okay, dark. Okay, and then this is bright. So, you can see that dark. So, they don't have any signal here. But if it is bright, you can see that the they have this signal. So, this signal means the bulb is on. Here means bulb is off. Okay, so we said dark bulb off. And then uh, bright, the bulb is on. Okay, now, so what is the type of transistor use? Uh, kan cikgu kata this question selalu keluar, they love to ask this. What type of transistor is used? Okay, look at the arrow. This is? And then after that, they ask you, based on the diagram 1 and 2, compare the base voltage. Then after that, the lightning, light, lighting of the bulb and then the base current. Then from there, uh, state the relationship. Okay, relationship between base and base voltage and base current. Then base current with collector current and then next question if the bulb is replaced with a spotlight with this um, label okay will the spotlight light up give reason so two marks okay I have answers here to go eh? Betulkah? Is this correct? Is it an NPN transistor? Correct not? Arrow to run, so means that this is P, this is N. So this is NPN transistor. Betul lah? Okay, next one. Uh, so based on diagram 6.1, 6.2, compare the base voltage. Okay, so B, B, B. Which one is bigger? So you see, like this kan, maksudnya, I see uh, the bulb light up, so means that I see more than zero. Here, I see confirm equal zero. This diagram, eh? So this diagram, the bulb does not light up, so means that I see... Sama dengan kosong. If I see kosong, means that the transistor is off. If transistor is off, it means that I B confirm equal zero. If I B zero, means that V B decrease. Means that V B um, small. Like this will be. Uh, here can see bulb light up, right? So means that I C huge more than 
more than zero. So means that the transistor on. So if transistor is on, so means that IB is more than zero. So means that VB is bigger. So you see when you explain, you can explain from the IC to VB ataupun from VB to IC. If you can understand this, uh, means lebih senang lah. Okay, so it can be from VB to IC, it can be from IC to VB, okay. Now, next question just now, uh, compare VB. So you know that now VB, uh, here is smaller, here is bigger. Hmm, ah, betul. No problem, ah? Okay. Next one. Lighting of the bulbs or second one, light up. Okay. And then IB, IB the second one means that this diagram 6.2. Um, base current IB in diagram flows in the circuit in diagram 6.2 and no base current flows right. Correct. Okay. Any comment? And then the relationship will be the greater, the greater. This one pun betul. So when they ask for the relationship, answer as if you are writing a hypothesis. Maksudnya use this lah. The greater the base voltage, the greater the base current. And the greater the base current, the greater the collector current. Alright, now the bulb is replaced with a spotlight. Okay, with this label. So, see, we are using, now they are using 240 volt. But the battery here, we only have 6 volt. If you place a bulb, um, uh, the device here that is using more than 6 volt confirm it will not um, able to operate. Okay, because not enough voltage. Okay, so look at the answer. No, uh, it will not light up. So the spotlight needs 240. Yes, uh, 6 volt is not sufficient. Betul lah, this is correct. Alright, so it needs six, uh, 240 volt. Okay, so 6 volt memang tak cukup uh, for that spotlight. Okay, now uh, how to modify so that the spotlight can be used? Uh, what should you add in your circuit? What should you add in, in the circuit? Alright, yeah, that is the keyword. Okay, you need to use a relay. What is the use of a relay? That is another favorite question. What is the use of a relay? Betul, you need to use a relay. But what is the use of the relay? To switch on secondary circuit. To switch on secondary circuit. Can you lengthen your answer? A relay is used to switch on secondary circuit that is using higher voltage ataupun higher power. Yes, uh, betul. Using small current to activate secondary circuit. Okay, you need to mention the secondary circuit is using higher voltage. Okay, so relay is used to switch on a secondary circuit that is using higher voltage. Boleh ha? Oh, kejap. This one betul lah. This is correct. 
small current to switch, switch on secondary circuit, tambahkan uh, Tio uh, and Jason, uh, add in your answer, activate secondary circuit that is using higher voltage. Uh, betul, Chua. Correct. Okay, look at this question. Still a structure question. So diagram shows the circuit with a transistor that act as automatic switch. Okay, uh, now here I can see. So this is the relay. Uh, the relay now is used to switch on the secondary circuit. Where is the secondary circuit? Here, this is the secondary circuit. Okay, that is using higher voltage. Okay. Uh, okay, cikgu pun lupa. This, this one just now is used to limit base current because the transistor, it cannot stand too much current in the base circuit. Okay, if let's say too much current, so the transistor will easily rosak. Eh? So that's why we need to have this resistor to limit the base current. Okay, now, um, see, transistor act as automatic switch. Transistor act as automatic switch. Sometimes they, after they give this, they ask you uh, what uh, other function of a transistor. If they already give this in the statement, you don't write automatic switch anymore. You need to write about current amplifier. Okay. And you can see here, they can also ask you what type of resistor is this. Okay, look at the symbol. Ingat lah, this one is LDR. If you have something like this, this is the Mr. or HDR. If like this, LDR. What about this? The symbol? This is diode. Huh? Okay. Now, resistor X has high resistance in dark and low resistance in bright. So, state, uh, can uh, Another function of a transistor. What if you write here automatic switch can give mark or not? If you write the function of a transistor is as automatic switch. Boleh bagi marker? Way up here, you can see just now, they already mentioned this circuit, the transistor acting as automatic switch. And here they ask for another function. If you still write about automatic switch, confirm no mark. Okay, so what should you write here? Current amplifier. Okay, so here will be current amplifier. Now name component Y. Can, uh, you must know what is component Y. Then explain why street light, street light lights up when resistor X is in dark. Uh, this one, cikgu rasa semua dah boleh jawab kan? Okay. Then next question. <coughs> uh, why the street light are not connected directly to the transistor circuit? One mark. <coughs> then the calculation part. So resistance of the resistor given, you need to calculate the potential difference between T and U. Okay, we look at the answer. Sekejap, eh? Okay, uh, this is good. Uh, in exam, okay, you can highlight uh, gariskan or highlight uh, so that the second time you read, it will be very clear. You can already see here automatic switch. Alright, so this one better. Uh. <coughs> Act as an, an amplifier. Can give more or not? The transistor act as an amplifier. Boleh bagi marker? <coughs> Can or not? Can we give mark for this? 
function of a transistor act as an amplifier. No, no. Okay, this one mesti tambah. Current amplifier, mesti ingat. Okay, be specific. Current amplifier. And then the uh, component Y just now memang diode lah. This symbol. Uh, mesti tulis lah what amplify. Because amplify means menggandakan. It increase the value. Value of what? Okay. Alright. So this one betul lah. Diode. And then explain why street light. Street light lights up when resistor X is in the dark. Now we can see that the resistor X is at the base circuit. So marka berapa? Only two marks. Okay. Boleh bagi marka kah ya? Although the marks here is two, but then uh, the marking uh, they normally can can give you more than two ticks. Okay, so they might be three or four ticks. Okay, but you don't no need to repeat what already given in the question just like this, right? So if you mention uh, resistor X, when it is dark, the resistance of the resistor X increase. So they will not give mark because already given in the question. Okay. Light red. Okay, in dark, the resistance, uh, this one, macam like this, they don't give mark anymore. This statement, uh, Although this is correct, but already given in the question. Dark resistance of LDR higher. Okay, uh, this is where we can give mark. Base voltage increase. One mark. And then base current increase. Two mark. Okay, I prefer student to write this in two sentence. Okay, tulis ayat berasingan. Base voltage increase. Base current more than zero. Transistor switch on. Uh, this is also got mark. Okay, and then large collector current flows. Okay, I can say that in this case because only two marks. Huh? So here, base voltage increase is the first mark. Base current increase and transistor switch on, that will be under the same category, mark number 2. Okay. And then large collector current will be mark number 3. Faham eh? Okay. So, at least uh, 2 lah. You have, you get 2 ticks, uh, get 2 marks. Boleh? So far boleh eh? Why street light are not connected direct to the transistor circuit? <coughs> Why? 6 volt battery is not enough to light up the street light with 450 uh, volt. Uh, betul lah. Okay. Yeah, it need to use a relay. Okay, because 6 volt not enough to light up the 450 volt. Uh, but okay, the calculation part. So they give you the resistance of resistor X. You can see here they use kilo kilo ohm. Okay, kilo ohm when it is dark. So calculate the potential difference between Tu. So this one using the ratio. So you need to determine the potential difference here between T. And you so means that as if I put a voltmeter here lah, you need to determine the, the reading of this voltmeter. Okay, so they give you the volt the the resistance just now is 32 kilo ohm. If it is dark, kan besar kan? 32 million. Uh no, oh 32 kilo uh, with three zero. So you can see this is 6, okay. So the formula will be V um, V over V total. So it means that V across the LDR sama dengan uh, R across the LDR divided by okay, divided by 
divided by R this R plus R LDR okay so that R is 8 8 kilo okay boleh so you can see now this is the resistance of the LDR 32 kilo ohm so change kilo eh? jangan lupa change kilo and then the the resistance of the first the resistance above is 8 okay uh, this is correct so this is tick 1 and the final answer tick 2 okay so far boleh Okay, next question. This is Terengganu, 2019. A lot of soalan uh, transistor. And then SPM 2019, 19 pun ada soalan transistor. So, I will suggest you to do a lot of soalan-soalan negeri. Ya. Do a lot of soalan negeri. You try to do, if possible, um, 2018, 19, 2020. 2020. Okay, and then uh, try to understand the overall. Alright, now. So, before your, your your paper will be on 2nd March, betul ke 2nd March? Correct or not? Your SPM paper, 2nd March, right? Less than 2 months. Okay, so we'll have more live session like this. Lah. Which step more important? Um, to answer like this, lah, too obvious, lah, Vincent. Okay, uh, try to do more exercise. Lah. Okay, more exercise. Okay, we will try, I will try to, to, to select the question and we discuss online. Lah. Okay. Okay, so diagram shows a transistor circuit in electronic alarm system. Okay, so this is, ingat lah, this is a thermistor. Okay, so you have alarm system here and then uh, we can also do like this. Okay, you need to draw the circuit, the, the component, is it? Kan? Component P, what is component P? And then uh, draw appropriate component. Uh, you need to be careful. Look at the circuit. What type of transistor should you draw? Okay, next. Then you see, when S is on, where is S? Oh, this one. When S is on, component R, they match. State the extra component need to attach to the circuit to avoid component R damage. So give reason for your answer. And then mark the position of extra component on diagram 7 with X. Okay, and then see here. So the alarm is now replaced with a bulb. And then when the transistor circuit diagram 7 used as automatic switch to light up the bulb at night, Found that the bulb does not light up. So, step modification need to be done and give reason. So, number one, name the new component to replace component P and then state the reason. Then the position of the new component, state the reason. Okay. Okay, what is component P? Jawapan? Okay, come look at this answer. Betul tak? Betul lah. Nama lain will be? Nama lain is? HDR. Nasrin. Check your messenger. Which messenger? 
Okay, tak apa. Letter. Ah, ya, yeah, termister. Termister is correct. Okay, nama lain will be HDR. Heat dependent resistor. So, on diagram 7, draw appropriate component in box. Okay, betul kah? Correct not? So, so, this should be very specific eh, because you have a battery here. So, you see this is negative terminal. So, it means that here should be N. Okay, N. Because this is negative. So, this will be a, an NPN transistor. Okay, uh, so this is correct. Eh? What if you draw PNP transistor? Can give mark or not? Katakan you, you draw here a PNP transistor. Uh, it will be wrong because they already give you this battery. Uh, careful, no? Uh, Farah, can we really, can we write HDR straight? Um, boleh tulis, katakanlah you you betul-betul tak ingat um, what is the meaning of HDR. Okay, so you just write HDR. I think in SPM, they will give mark. Okay, but if you can remember the mister ataupun heat dependent resistor better to write the complete answer tapi kalau betul-betul tak ingat then you think that if i write it become wrong okay ah uh, then you just write the the symbol uh, the hdr faham ah faham ah okay uh, we finish discuss this one lah then we stop ah uh. Apa yang no, Anik? Uh, the essay question, kalau cikgu ada masa, I record a video, mark your essay question for the transistor and post maybe tomorrow night. Uh, make sure you watch, huh? mesti tengok. Huh? Okay, now. So, switch S is on, component R, component R damage, okay? This one on, this damage, okay? Now, okay, so extra component need to attach. Resistor connected to the base of the transistor to limit base current, uh, betul lah. Yes, uh, this is what we already discussed just now, kan? Mesti ada uh, extra component uh, label here. Okay, you need to draw the extra component here. So, need to attach another uh, resistor here to limit the base current. Uh, betul lah? Okay, two marks. Okay, so resistor on uh, at the base current to limit base current. Okay, two marks. And then you mark the position. Okay, already marked up here. Okay, good. This is correct. Okay, alarm replaced by bulb. Then name the new component to replace component P, light dependent resistor. Because now you want okay alarm replaced by a bulb, and you want it to be acting as automatic switch to switch on the bulb at night. So it means that uh, the thermistor can need to be replaced by light dependent resistor. Uh, this is correct. Reason. Resistance increase, light intensity decrease. Resistance increase. Okay, what, what do you think of this answer? Light dependent resistor reason resistance increase when light intensity decrease. Any comment? At P, at P here, 
So means that this thermistor um, change with light dependent resistor. The reason resistance increase when light intensity decrease means that when it is dark the resistance increase. Um, yeah, I think Jason's answer will be a bit simple. Yeah, it can detect light. Uh, it, it is sensitive to light. Okay, it is sensitive to light. The resistance, if you want to write like this, it's better to write resistance of LDR. Increase when, yeah, the, when it is dark. Okay, uh, betul lah boleh terima but be more specific lah. Okay, tuliskan what type of uh, uh, the resistance of which resistor. Okay, state the position of new component. It will be at Q. Where is Q? Here. Okay, boleh? Okay, betul lah at Q. We discussed this few, many times already. So the resistance increase when light intensity decrease. Uh, here we look at this. This part. This one not important. Okay, because no matter uh, whether you place the the LDR at any position either at P or at Q, when it is dark, the resistance of the LDR will increase. Whether you place it here, at P or at Q, it, it does not have any changes. Means that when it is dark, the resistance of the LDR increase. But if you place the LDR at Q, when it is dark, base voltage increase. If you place it here. Okay, uh, that's why, yeah, that's why this is more important. <coughs> okay. Uh. Alright, so tomorrow we will look at, uh, I will try to record, I will mark this one, okay, and I post online lah. So, maksudnya the Kelantan paper, Melaka paper, okay. <coughs> Alright, now it's already nearly 11. So, ada apa-apa soalan that you want to ask? Can I write base voltage increase to light up the bulb at night? For that answer. Your answer is base voltage increase. Base voltage increase. Uh, base voltage increase already can get marked. Because only one mark. Okay, Jason. So it means that if you write base voltage increase already can get the mark. Resistance vary according to the light intensity. Uh, that one, no. Okay. Because no matter where you place the the LDR, the resistance memang akan berubah lah with the intensity of light. But that statement, uh, Chen, if you write resistance vary according to the light intensity, that sentence is not specific. Means that macam buang masa tulis. Straight to the point. For physics, huh, you need to go straight to the point. Okay, when you say the the resistance varies with light intensity, that is not clear. It's better to write when it is dark, the resistance increase. When it is bright, the resistance of the LDR decrease. Uh, that will be better. So, but straight to the point. You tak buang masa. Contoh macam sometimes student write. Um, this physical quantity depends on this quantity. The word depends also will not give you any marks. Sebab not clear. Unless the question asks you to write inference, ah, then you can use the word depends on lah. Tapi yang lain-lain, don't use the word depends lah. Sebab macam depends is macam tak cukup, ah, tak cukup, tak cukup maklumat. Alright. Ada lagi soalan? Governometer, follow direction of electron or current. Mm, 
sepatutnya elektron. Okay, but um, I don't see any question asking about the direction of galvanometer uh, represent what. We just you just need to know that the galvanometer pointer deflect when there is current. So it means that the galvanometer is used to detect current. What will happen if we don't use capacitor in sound amplifier? Will microphone, it will not explode. It will not explode, but it's just that the, um, the, kejap ma, because you need to block the direct current from, from going through the transistor, means that it will not, um, mix with the with the sound the, the signal sound from your voice okay so that's why we need to have the capacitor there yeah yeah uh, a buzzing sound betul lah Vincent okay okay ada lagi soalan lain at least tonight lah you know what is the function of a transistor what is a symbol of the transistor? Um, how to draw a transistor in a circuit? Um, what else? Uh? Okay. Uh, what is the the collector circuit? Collect uh, collector and base and make sure you know about the I B I E I C. All right. And the calculation part, lah. Okay. Uh, at least you get that idea first. Okay. So tomorrow we'll discuss. Cikgu rasa cikgu akan record video lah. Okay. To mark the essay part. Make sure you don't miss that lah. The essay part jangan miss lah. Okay. So make sure you subscribe. So that you don't miss the notification. Alright. So if no more question. So see you in next video. Hopefully. Cikgu ada masa, I will, I, will, I will have another live session. Okay, before your exam. Don't miss the live session. Okay, so if no problem, then see you next time. InsyaAllah, alright. So, bye-bye, good night. Okay, all the best. Can go leave electroscope detect alpha and beta particle? Go leave, aduh, cikgu tak ingat lah. Okay, I can't remember all. <laughs> but I think alpha lah. Cikgu lupa lah, Tio. Maybe night time already. But I know that um, gaga mulut tube can detect all the radiation. Okay, bye-bye. See you all. Okay, stay safe. Jaga your distance, jaga your SOP. Oh, MD, ada MD eh. Alright, okay, bye bye MD. Okay, alright, see you all. Okay, check go off, huh?